All right, 1993. What I remember is hearing about Venice Arts and they were at the Vera Davis Center. And I remember going there and going into the area where they were and there was a class going on and um, watching and being really excited about the students that were there and asking a little bit about how could I could help and being told that there was a need to put hammers in the hands of the students. So soon I made a donation to help buy inexpensive cameras and I think that's really where it all started. What brought me to Los Angeles was to go to the women's building and study there at the Feminist Studio Workshop which was an institution or an organization committed to making art from a place of community, a women's community, and, women, and from your experience. The whole mission was to make art about your experience. And that's what drew me to what Lynn was building, which was let's give our students a vehicle for expressing their experience, which was photography. For me, living in Venice with the work that I really think of as my main love, the, the love that I have is to document this community which is so extraordinary um, and that's how I came also to appreciate Venice Arts. When the gallery on Lincoln was opened I had an opportunity to show this work that I had done about Venice called The Gates of Venice. That for me was extraordinarily exciting and moving to be a part of Venice Arts, um, not just on the end of seeing how I could help, but actually Venice Arts was helping me. It's not just photography any longer, it's multimedia. I mean, here we are being with videographers. That's the arc for me, from Instamatic to digital, video, making movies, making books. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful, um, developmental trajectory. It's very important that we have this link and that Susan and I met at the Women's Building and here we are talking about a community organization that is about making art and using art as a vehicle for communication.